What's up, Chroma Clubbers and Doodle Clubbers? Embrace the power of the doodle. Today I'm going to try a new experiment where I actually play the virtual world as I actually answer the questions. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's just try it. Let's get started. Um, okay, ZZ's Rock says nice. Okay. The Godly Girl plus Wonder Woman and Captain America fangirl asks, DCH, have you ever felt like you are stuck? Like your life is the same thing every day and nothing ever changes. If so, how would you resolve it? Um, yes, I have. And uh, okay, I'm going to try to answer this while I play. But yeah, of course. And I feel like even right now, think about how long I've been talking about the virtual world. It's pathetic. So I feel like I'm stuck in this situation. I'm like, what am I going to do to get out of it? And in fact, I had this issue, um, some of the players might know, at the beginning of 2014, where I'm like, what's going to happen with Doodle Club? Because I saw things shifting to like, doodling to 3D and stuff like that. I'm like, okay, well, what's going to happen? And I, and I didn't necessarily even have the skills to go to 3D directly. So here are things that I found, you know, when I, when I look back at when I've gotten out of stuck situations, this is what I've done. And maybe it'll help you. I, I'll, let's just say there are three dimensions and you have to do all three to kind of get lucky and get out of the situation. First of all, do other new small mini projects. They're like mini experiments that you can do to get more experience, to learn more about you know what you're doing and maybe like new directions and new venues that you can go to. So that's one thing. The other thing is to just get better at your craft, get better at what you're doing, learn about new stuff, learn about new things. In the case of like in 2014, I should have learned about 3D. In the case of right now, I'm learning about, you know, random game development skills and math skills that I need to know anyways in the future. So it's, you know, it's I'm building my kind of um, creativity muscles. Um, now, the other thing though, and this is kind of counterintuitive, is you need to go and help some, some other people randomly. And um, so actually, you know, when I said, going back to the first thing that I said, doing random projects, I'm gonna kind of give you specific details on how I did that. In 2014, what I did is I started like the handwriting um, analyzer, which was another project, and it kind of gave me more momentum and made me realize that, you know what, there are other possibilities. I also started doing an apparator game where you're kind of like a little app, you, you kind of pretend you're like an app, app reviewer. You kind of play these mini games and then you review them as like their apps. And that was, it didn't succeed, but it gave me a different perspective. And then in fact, what it is, is there's like a karma. And even if that failed, then I got the idea for Let's Play Simulator. And yes, I didn't do it, but I was there early. And had I done it, I would have even capitalized even more on that opportunity. And now you see Let's Play Simulator is kind of like Goat Simulator and some of these other really popular games. So kind of doing small projects and other types of projects will get you new ideas, will give you new inspirations. Um, in terms of learning and reading stuff, I also start around that time and even now, like, as I, like I said, I read math books, I read game development books, I read up on all these other random things to help me get better. Um, and at the very least, it gives me another perspective. And then finally, as I said before, you have to randomly help other people. And I don't know why that is, but you get lucky if you randomly help other people. And I've done this. You know Zoo Club? You may have heard of Zoo Club. You remember it. It was pretty popular. And what happened was is that actually I randomly helped uh, the, the Blast Monkeys guy. I kind of had a little program where I was like, okay, I'm going to help students. So I helped him make his game kind of successful. You know, obviously he had skills too. And... Once it became successful, he promoted my game Zoo Club. And then Zoo Club went to the top 10 on Google Play. So it's karma, right? Like, so basically helping other people. And then in 2014, in 2015, I started going and helping other random people with their own games. And I posted videos and other stuff to just random, randomly help people. And then automagically, lucky things started happening. So I think... I think that's the third thing. It's counterintuitive. Sometimes when you're stuck, you think you need the most help, and that's when you need to give the most help. And actually right now, you know, you saw why I'm doing I'm doing the mentorship program. I just realized that look, if I'm gonna help people, I might as well help people who are playing the game. And that's why I'm doing the mentorship program. I'm not getting any benefit from it. <laughs> I mean, hopefully, who knows, but it's just to help other people randomly so that I can get unstuck out of my current situation, which I feel is you know, having this virtual world move into the next stage. So, so I feel like those three things will make a huge difference. I know this took a long time, but I hope, I hope it does help you. 
And I think the real question is, is how do you randomly help other people? With your, with your creativity, with your passion, don't, don't randomly help people with stuff you don't even want to do because it's just, you don't want to volunteer bad stuff. Volunteer your passion and then it'll come back to you like a thousand folds. So whatever you give out will come back a thousand folds. If you volunteer kind of not really passionate about what you're doing, that you're not going to get really passionate results. You volunteer really passionate stuff or what you're really tapping into, you have a higher chance. I'm going to say it's guaranteed. You have a higher chance. Okay? Okay. Baphomet asks, uh, did you celebrate Valentine's Day or Singles Awareness Day? Um, how about both? I mean, St. Valentine seems like a good saint. Uh, why can't it be both? Okay. Faded asks, why can't I go on clubs without crashing? I answered this in the last, last one, but I think it's the dots in your names and some of the tags you have in your names that are creating issues. Darth Hawk asks, what was the most awkward encounter you have had? Um, honestly, it's just too crazy for me to even mention. Okay, and that's all I'm going to say. And, and I feel like you should focus on some constructive things. Have miracle focus, not this like crazy, dark, deep focus. And then you're the one who tells me that I'm crazy. Anyways, I, I can't, no comment. Okay, Papyrus Pet. Cat Temi asks, if you could have any pet in the world, what would it be? Um, I would say maybe a designer dragon. Uh, something that you could, like a cute little dragon that kind of acts like a cat, you know, just as easy to maintain as a cat. But it's like a cute dragon and it kind of emits kind of light heat. Wouldn't be too damaging to, you know, to my place, but that's it. So, so that's what I would like. Okay, John Lawrence asks, what is your favorite thing to do on DC? I would say have my club meetings. B-Day Beans asks, is the finished version of Chroma Club going to cost money? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. The plan is not to and just to have in-app purchases, but we will see. The Fluffy Swirl is having weird emotional issues, says, can you add night mode, please? Just, just something to make DC a bit less bright so we can see it better in the middle of the night. I will think about it. I don't know. Dude, like some of the chat at night is kind of depressing. I we have to figure out a way to, to remove that first, and then I'll consider night chat. So, or or night mode. Tatuchi asks, will there ever be an option to sign up with Google Play so we can save our account in case we get a new device? You wouldn't have people always asking for you to recover their account. How many people want that idea? Because uh, I thought most people didn't have Google Play accounts. I'm open to doing it, but I didn't know that many people were interested. Let me know if you're interested. And finally, Lord C Star 287 asks, why do cats cost more than dogs in the Chroma Club VR? And is the DCH account any different than a normal account? Yeah, in the DCH account, I can actually um, flag certain things and, and other things and you know, and kind of admin some things more easily. As for why one pet costs more than the other, it was just a random price thing. Do you think they should be the same price? Um, let me know. Let me know what you think. Um, so that's it for now. Thanks again for all of your questions. I enjoyed them. Uh, take care. Happy St. Valentine's Day. And... Embrace the power of the doodle. Take care.